Hey yo, what's up? My name is Pooh Cluster and today I'm going to be showing you probably the biggest update to this game so far. So let's get started. The first thing you'll probably notice is that it says Dank Beta version 1.0 now instead of Alpha. If you don't know what Beta means, I'll explain to you at the end of the video. Alright, so the next thing I added is this welcome text this was here originally um around the first couple of videos but then i removed it for some reason so now it's back um this is to help players when they first boot up the game they don't know what to do press h for help then they can figure out that the next thing i did was added sound effects to the energy ball so i'll just turn down the music here we go I added a little bit of reverb to a friend of mine who recorded some sounds for me and that is the end result of the energy ball sound. Hope it sounds good. The next thing I did was more of a benefit to me as a programmer rather than for you guys but I made a camera class and what this does is it handles where everything should be rendered relative to each other in the player. So for instance you see the hearts, the level, the score. This menu, all of these are dealt with by the camera class relative to the player's position. That's convenient for me as a programmer. The next thing I did was I fixed jumping and moving platforms. Originally, when you jumped on these, I didn't actually reset the jump velocity. You would fall down a little bit too short and it wouldn't reset your jump speed and fall speed. Now it works and you shouldn't get any glitches when jumping and falling off of moving platforms. Next thing I did, I know I've said it multiple times in multiple videos, but I finally fixed the daytime and nighttime logic for real. So I figured out the issue was that I didn't check the time until after I loaded the level already. But you're supposed to check the time before you load the level. That way you can set the sky tiles to either nighttime or daytime. Next, I fixed Joe's death sounds every once in a while. I've said this before also in another video. Before, Joe's death sounds would randomly not play every once in a while. But you can hear, okay, this is Joe. But now they play every time, for sure. You could hear, he said, oh no, there. You can hear him crying out and suffering now. That's good. Next is I changed the way um, I changed my system of rendering. What that just basically means is I changed the method for how everything is rendered. And you might notice that the frame rate right now is 540 when it originally on this level was around 800. So yeah, I dropped a bit, but because I changed the rendering system a little bit, it should be consistent between level and level and not have significant drops if there are a lot of entities in one level compared to another level. For instance, if we were to go to the story level, there are so many flowers and so much text, yet the frame rate didn't drop as hard as it would have if we were to use the old rendering system. Before I tell you the cool thing is I just organized and renamed a lot of my resource files simply for the sake of organization and it helps me better to locate where my files are. The hype thing is pretty cool. You've noticed that I've changed my menu, right? It used to say single player, multiplayer, but I noticed that that doesn't actually make sense. Like for instance, if you have multiplayer, you don't get the option of new game, load game, and save game. Now I just put under a category called action, and then the mode, you can choose single player or multiplayer. What's cool is multiplayer actually works now, and we can figure out the controls based on pressing K. We can shoot with period. Uh, we can sprint with comma and we can use arrow keys to move the second player. I added a second set of hearts for the second player and the players, um, they share the same score. So if either one of them were to get this coin right over here, it would add up to this same score over here, despite whoever gets it. Next is that the camera is always focused on the first player unless the first player dies. And this is where that camera class I mentioned earlier comes in handy. So for instance, let's say I die right now. Okay. Boom. Now you can see that it is now focused on the second player and that the first player is dead. If 
The second player or first player finishes the level while the dead player is alive, then what will happen is that the player who is dead will spawn in the next level with one heart. If one of you guys die, but the other one makes it to the end of the level, then you both will spawn in the next level alive at least with one heart. Next is that I changed the help code. This is just more of a convenience to me again rather than you guys. Now I deal with all of these in a three-dimensional array, so it stores all of this text under one object rather than three objects. And now I have this help, which wasn't there before because player two didn't exist back then. The next thing is player two's animation counter is always offset by half of the first player. And that's just because if they were to walk, they wouldn't have the same exact frame every single time. And it makes the game look less robotic and more natural. The last thing for multiplayer is if player two walks way too far away from player one, he will just teleport back to player one. Of course, that's only if player one is alive too, because if player one was dead, then player two couldn't go anywhere. That is all I have to say in terms of the game so far. So you can see that this was a pretty big update and that's why I decided to make it beta version 1.0. Now to explain beta version 1.0, Beta means that I will be sharing the game with the world, basically. I uploaded this game to a Dropbox of mine, and I'll provide a download link. You guys can test this game out for yourselves, and that's why it's called Beta, because it's an interaction and feedback between me and the world. Now, you guys can download this game. Some YouTuber commented that I should upload this game to the internet and then they can give feedback. I thought it was a great idea. So now this game will be on the internet for you guys to download. I'll show you really quickly. So when you click on the Dropbox link, you should get some screen that looks like this. And all you have to do is click download right here. And you click, you can click no thanks, continue to download. If you don't have an account to Dropbox and then it will download the game in a zip right here and then all you have to do is take the zip and then uh, just extract it so just extract it here and then boom you have my game now and the patch notes to the game which is this and then the game yep Alright, so that's all I have to show you guys for today. I know that was a lot, but this was a really big update. Uh, thank you guys if you made it to the end of the video. And peace out, yo. Have a good day.